Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to give you my favorite all-time tip for Apple TV and laptops. Uh, the, basically the reason why I think this is the best thing ever is many of us have laptops but we don't have necessarily a big monitor that uh, we can use if we want to do some, I don't know, interesting Photoshop work or whatever. And a lot of people don't realize that you could actually use your monitor of your television as a second display for your laptop wirelessly which is really cool. So your laptop could be on Wi-Fi, your Apple TV could be connected to your HDMI television, and at that point you can broadcast an extended desktop wirelessly from your laptop to your television. So a lot of people know about AirPlay, how you could broadcast uh, your laptop display and mirror it to your uh, HDMI television, but a lot of people don't realize that there's another feature to it that allows it to extend the desktop. So the first thing, let's get started and show you what this looks like so that you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. So let's start off with going into settings and we're going to go down to AirPlay which is right over here in the settings menu of your Apple TV. Make sure AirPlay is on and that your Apple TV is actually connected to a network. Once you're done with that, get back to the main menu and just stay there. Now go to your laptop, which by the way I'm connected wirelessly click on this little icon that looks like an Apple TV. If you don't see that icon, you're either not running the right operating system. I'm actually in El Capitan, but it works in Yosemite and Maverick, I believe. And at this point, my Apple TV shows up because I'm on the same network. So those are the key things. You have to be on the same network, and you have to be on the proper OS in order to handle this. You can always update your Apple TV if you need to in software update in the settings if uh, it's not working. And I've had a couple of instances where other people's Apple TVs were not working properly and we did have to update the software. So now you select your Apple TV and once you do so, as you can see, now we're mirroring. So the same thing that I'm seeing on my laptop, I see on my television. But there's another little feature here. It's called Use as a Separate Display. And when you do that, it actually is different. As you can see, the main menu is over here, and I'm moving my mouse. It's now on the HDMI television. Now I'm going to go into System Preferences right over here, and I'm going to go into Displays, because this is where I'm going to be able to adjust the arrangement of the display to be the way I want it to. Right now, this is my television, and this is my laptop and as you can see I get this little box that comes up when I click on it. This little white thing on top is my menu bar. So wherever I put that and I'm gonna just drag it over and put it over here is now where my main menu is gonna be. So now as you can see I'm in my main menu. Now as you can see this is the uh, television display and this is my Mac. I like to have it so where I'm going to drag my mouse cursor and automatically it's going to show up on the television there. So now I actually am set up perfectly to work on two displays as one. So now that this is all set up, what can I do? Well, let's say I want to watch a video. And you could be in iTunes, you could be in uh, YouTube, it doesn't matter. I have this video that I made, which is uh, uh, just a regular movie file, an MP4. And I'm just going to drag it over to the other window like that. I'm going to let go and I'm going to play it over there just as I'm going to do right now. As you can see the sound is coming out from the television which now I can adjust with the volume of my remote control but I'll turn the sound off now. I'm going to drag my mouse back to come to this monitor and I'm going to actually open up um, I could open up Safari or whatever uh, so I would be able at this point to surf the web at the same time while I'm watching the video, which is really, really cool. So you can actually watch a video and actually try out things, and that's one way of doing it. Another item that would be pretty cool to do is imagine you had Photoshop, and you wanted to actually use the bigger display to actually do some photo retouching. Well, you can do that as well. All you would have to do is open up Photoshop, and I'm in Creative Cloud here and I'm going to drag Photoshop over to this display. Now I could actually use, if I was going to 
um, utilize this particular Photoshop. I could open up a Photoshop file, I could work on it, but maybe I don't want to use my laptop uh, keyboard and mouse. Well, if I took a wireless keyboard, connected it to my laptop, and I took a wireless mouse, then I would be able to actually just move aside my laptop and work directly on the screen right in front of it. So it's another way of extending the display. Another way is to use the laptop as your palette for Photoshop. So as you can see, there are many different ways that you can use this. And actually, as you can see, my mouse is working and the video is playing uh, continuously. This is a great way to watch one of my YouTube videos because you can watch the tutorial and actually do it on your computer at the same time and really not have anything to set up except connecting to AirPlay. Now, getting back to the AirPlay setup over here, remember if you go this way and your mouse doesn't come out, you know your cursor, just go the other way. It's usually one or the other. When you're done, all you would simply do is turn off AirPlay display and you'll be back to normal. And now the video is still playing over here um, as it was before and that's all there is to it. So it's a great way to get two displays or even extend your desktop and watch tutorials, watch a movie, whatever you want. Even if you're playing a game on one and you want to still watch uh, your emails and stuff as they're coming in, is another way of doing it. So I hope you enjoyed this tip. I love it. I've been using it ever since I've tried it out. I actually set it up with my regular Mac where I have two displays and the, this display is my third one and you can do presentations with it, you can uh, do lots of things, all done wirelessly, except that I recommend that the Apple TV is hooked up directly to a LAN. I think you have better, uh, you know, you'll probably have better experience, but it does work Wi-Fi, like I said. And also keep in mind, you should plug in your laptop while you're doing it. I found that as my battery degrades on my laptop, if I'm in AirPlay, uh, it'll actually stop functioning. You won't know what, what happened, and then if you plug in your uh, adapter on your laptop from wherever you are, the AirPlay seems to work better. I guess it needs a little bit more power. So hope you like the video. I love this tip. Let me know if you try it out and if it works for you and let me know how you're using it because everybody can use this in a different way. Thanks for listening and if you like the video, like the video and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks and have a great weekend.